Hey, what's up everybody around the world? Welcome back to another weekend tutorial. Today I'm going to share with you how to model a construction first in Revit. As you can see on my screen here is my project reference before we jumping into our project. The project is our reviewing before we model that. And I thought it's easier to model a 3D model in Revit, but sometimes it's badly to create some kind of section detail or detailing or construction first. Then I thought it would be helpful if I can produce this kind of tutorial and some more recently my subscriber is requesting to create this kind of construction first so i think it's time to create that and help him out for this project okay so let me close my endscape first because here is my endscape for reviewing the texture of material it's quite nice and the uh, trust there i applying for the white color so let me close it first okay as you can see here is my project reference and if you follow along to my previous tutorial and you are uh, all subscriber you will know what's going on for our slap desk here and how to create that for session detail like this you can take a look on my previous tutorial and the tutorial I'm going to cover also but in this past when I read this past I will be skip it or speed the right to reset for that so I'm going to create a new project so this one I'm going to to just keep it for photo reference or project reference so i'm going to hit ctrl n for shortcut key then change to template file to architecture template and hit ok once i done that revit will be transferred me to another pack okay so here we are in level one is the revit architecture template so what i'm going to do in order to make our construction first for brick wall and I beam so first thing I'm going to our wall or WA for shortcut key then I will change it to 300 millimeter make it high until 4 meter only 4 meter then I'm going to edit type before I press that just change material to brick wall go to mansonin and sorry Okay, let's create a new material. Rename it for brick wall. 300 millimeter like this. Go to appearance library. Then go to our appearance library again. Go to Mensary CMU. Then apply for this one. Is CMU running like this? apply then it's okay i don't want to wait the photo at the ring because we know what's going on for our material just okay apply then it's okay once i done that it's time to create that i will create it just a short one make it for three meter it has get a couple time then go to our 3d overview as you can see here just a simple white color because we are working on hidden line if we check it to realistic will be another story so i'm going to hide our elevation also for vg for visibility graphic then go to our level for hidden element apply then it's okay once i done that i can change it to realistic as you can see here then i will start from top view over there let's change it to hidden line graphic then change it to so room and change this one to Hit the line and i'm going to change the background as well to gradient apply it. it's okay then bm for shortcut key then i'm going to apply it for level two like this just start from here until here hit a get a couple of time then i'm going to offset it just move it up and we for move i will move it up for one meter unconstrained Move up for one meter like this. Then I'm going to go to edit type, duplicate it because I don't want to affect my previous beam. I beam. I will change it for one meter, make it more bigger. Okay. Then here we just rename our tie only, so we need to adjustment our dimension here. I'm going to change our high here to one meter, three hundred cm. Then change our well thickness to um, let's change it to 150 i think then i'm going to change our thickness here to 2 
let's see what's going on okay as you can see here it's quite big i think wrong already is our instruction so we need to adjustment here back to 15 i think apply okay two things so make it for one apply okay then i'm going to change here well filter to 10 apply let me see is it perfect for me make it for 15 okay perfect for me as you can see here so what i'm going to do next i'm going to create the steel plate here is a custom steel plate with our screw go to our steel type plates then i need to set a work plan pick i will be picked from here then start from from you go to us here just draw it like this i will draw it somewhere around here yep just make it 400 like this then move i think this tutorial will be take about 30 minutes or 25 minutes then make it 400 then i can select all like this then OF for offset just offset it for 10 millimeter for thickness like this then we can connect it that hit escape a couple time then I can just hit finish Okay, the creation element is only visible view. I think we need to change it to fine again, as you can see here. Then I'm going to select here, edit our thickness, make it for 200, so apply. Then I want to apply for coating also. We will be coating for one layer. Start from left side because I want to move it. And we for move, I will move it to here. Then AR for array, we could not array that, so we need to copy that. I will select from here, then CO for copy, just make it three. Finding for the center here, where is it? Let me find here, CO for copy, start from here until here. Total is 280, so I'm going to make it for 260, like this. Then here I'm going to go to move in for 200 as well okay so we're finding for the center here as well co for copy start from here okay one two zero i just hit a scan as you can see here it's quite nice so what i'm going to do next let's change it to real estate okay as you can see here so change it to hidden line again so what i'm going to do next actually i need to create our screw boy enough first only i copy that so i'm going to skip and delete it first go to our steel tab again both both then select our steel plate here hit enter select your steel plate again then you can draw it out just draw it from here until here hit finish then i'm going to change specification here as well I'll set it for 30 and make it for 30 is apply okay perfectly then I can copy again start from black side again we practice the same our method before CO for copy make it for 1.2 and another one is 1.2 like this Okay, as you can see here then i can select all of them like this because we want to mirror that that's why we need to select all of them okay go back to my level 2 here then dm for draw mirror i'm going to draw mirror start from here draw like this go to our 3d plus here 
let's see how as you can see here it's quite nice so what i'm going to do next we create our eye beam we create our brick wall we need to create our desk lab on top of that let's see our preview here okay so we need to get our desk lab here and our trust system also go to 3d again then start from top view let's start from top view go to our architecture tab rules rules by footprint okay for the past i will speak for duration but you if you want to create that you can follow along from my previous tutorial like this go to level 2 it's allowed to work on level 2 only let's make that it together Okay, so we done our structural desk lab already. So I'm going to create another wall on top there. Change to constraint, unconstrained. Then I'm going to offset it until here, somewhere around here. Hit a sketch, then AL for align. I just align from here to here then here I need to adjustment also just make it smaller like this as you can see here so now what we are missing we are missing our structure here this is how I build my construction first from scratch go to our structure first hit a sketch first because I want to load our beam first in the type then load a new one just load in for rectangle hollow section 40 by 40 we finding for such a framing still finding for all season still where is it square hollow season then i will using for 40 by 40 and 3.2 thickness is okay it's okay again then hit a sketch go to our web one rp for reference well the reason i need to create reference well because i want to add our trust system on the front pass here go to our sound elevation then change it to fine okay so go to our trust name change it to reference one it's okay i need to load our trust one because we are using our structural template we didn't have any trust to load in structural trust open here then i can start draw i will just start draw from here somewhere until here i don't know come on hit a sketch as you can see here our trust is too big but don't worry about that we can edit it just go to select our trust edit profile then i will make it for 400 millimeter only it's okay as you can see here then i can move it down basically 
just do our arrow key to move it down like this yep like this go to our 3d here starts like here start from top then i will move it in a bit yep ar for array okay the array is impossible to create this kind of situation make it for five okay i'm going to array from here down to here hit escape a couple time okay as you can see here we are about done it's time to create some our rebar inside our brick wall there because we need to connect together the reason we need to create that select our brick wall there but as you can see our rebar they are not activate here how could we activate that just go to our property panel then drop down finding for such a row in order to create our rebar here turn on is apply as you can see here now rebar is activating then i'm going to select here select rebar select here set a plan i will start from i think start from here yep start like this then i will just draw it just draw it like this yes hit a scat then i can finish hit a scat first select this guy over there then change to number with spacing and i will make it for in between is 500 okay i think we make here is wrong direction already but anyway just make it 440 make it for two like this start from front change it to fine or we change it to wireframe here move in a bit let me see okay perfect like here then i will copy this let's copy it every spacing is i think just make it 1.2 and another one 1.2 meter okay perfect start from top here like this okay kind of hard because this one is we have one activate for our structural template yes structural tab like here start from right side co for copy i will just simply copy like that not an actual one because just a practice hit us get a couple of time then we can select our overall our rebar to make it as a solid or control key for multiple selection you as a solid okay change it to fine and change it to realistic as you can see here it's quite nice and quite realistic and of course for our rebar we can create our material also let's me like key one go to the type then i will change our material here let's say we change it to does here where is it i think i will make it for somewhere around here yep apply and it's okay as you can see here it's better a lot that's how you can create your construction first from scratch in David. Okay, guys, I think it's pretty much for this tutorial. With this tutorial, just uh, how we can create our construction first for brick wall and trust from scratch. If you like this tutorial, make sure to like and subscribe if you are first time here. Thank you, guys, for watching, and don't forget to hit subscribe button below. And click the bell icon for turn on for all notifications if you are first time reaching out here or visiting to my channel or just the first time watching my tutorial. Thank you guys for watching and all your support to my tutorial. And I see you for another tutorial in Revis and we'll bring more professional content about Revit. Thank you.